This video from Casio Help, we're going to quickly demonstrate how to add PLU stock um, to the SRS500 register. Um, so it's a fairly simple, basic uh, function on the machine. You can have PLU stock either by PLU number or by um, scanning code. So the process is the same for each. Um, all the stock control setup is done in the X mode, the old manager mode. So you need the PGM key in and you need to turn the key round to the X position. Then you press number 2 followed by subtotal and you get PLU stock add stock quantity. First thing you need to do is tell the till which PLU you want to add stock for. Um, so if you're doing it by the scanning code rather than the PLU number, you simply scan the barcode product comes up. If a number comes up like this one has number five, that means that's how many are currently in stock. Um, so you're going to add stock to that figure. So say if you've had 15 of those books delivered in, you would simply type in one five and then press the CA amount 10 button here. And you can see it's added 15 onto the five. So you've now got 20 in stock. If that's the only item you're adding stock for, you would now press subtotal and end the process. However, if you're adding stock for other items, uh, which is what I'm going to do, then you carry on. So again, if you were scanning an item, you would now rescan it, but I'm going to show you how to type in the PLU number. So if you're doing PLU number codes rather than barcodes, then you simply type in the PLU number, so 21 for example, then hit your PLU key, and that'll bring up that item and then you type in the stock that you are adding to the existing stock cash amount end and again you could repeat the procedure so let's say we've got another book in scan it type in the stock quantity that you're adding cash amount end and you repeat this process and so on and so on until you're finished when you're done press subtotal You can turn the key back to the main reg position so the material is ready to use again. And then you can just take a quick look at the printout you get. So you've got the product name, no spin, the PLU number that is there, the old stock quantity, the stock you've added, and the new stock quantity. Again, West Indies Cricket, PLU 21, old stock none, new stock or added stock 10, new stock, and so on and so on. As I say, it's a fairly primitive or basic feature on the machine, but it does have it, and that's how to add the stock. I've got other videos on stock control on the SRS 500, um, showing you how to um, deduct stock, override stock, and also run a stock report. I'll put them all in one playlist so you can check them all out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit casiohelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.